Today, we have a look at the house that helped build the likes of Shaq Lawson, Deshaun Watson, Mike Williams, Hunter Renfro, Trevor Lawrence, and many other Clemson greats. What's going on, people? Welcome back to Reef with Jack the Reefer, and today I got another banger video with you guys today. Let's be special, baby. Let's be special. So today we're looking at the Clemson Indoor Practice Facility. It was constructed late 2011 by Sherman Construction and it cost roughly $10 million. The actual building and structure itself was more around 9.6, 9.8 range. Then you add in the turf and everything else, roughly $10 million. So the building measures 410 feet by 210 feet and has a full regulation football field, with plenty of room on both sides and padding along the walls. So that's... The plenty of room on the sidelines, obviously players on the sidelines, you got staff, media over there, anything that you need, any equipment. The actual field space itself was 80,000 square feet of practice field, which that's a quite impressive number. It's nearly 70 feet tall, a filming tower that's 55 feet above the field, and we'll get to that later. And it's known as the Betty Shepard Poe and William Maxwell Poe Indoor Football Facility. And it was dedicated back in 2016. Billy Poe was a running back who played under Frank Howard at Clemson from 1944 to 46. He also participated in track and field. And the one thing that really stood out to me is that right in the center of the field, there's a giant sign, the best is the standard. A common misconception, though, about the phrase is that best is the standard doesn't mean go out and win a national championship every year. What best is the standard means is that God blessed you with certain gifts and it's your responsibility every single day to show up and give all the gifts that he has given you and make use of those gifts and do your best. And that's what the best is the standard means. You can also see that there's several garage door like kind of doors along the, the walls and they can open those up and kind of let air in, sunlight in if it's a nice day outside and kind of just air out the place a little bit more, especially in those hot August days when they're practicing indoors. If it might be raining or any other inclement weather they can't practice outside during. Now this is a look from one of those 55 foot t filming towers I was talking about a little earlier and they're, they're quite impressive you can see they're very high up I mean you're basically touching the ceiling just under the ceiling probably about 15 feet underneath and I mean it's about eight flights of stairs to get up there so it's it's a workout your calves hamstrings just your entire thighs glutes I mean they're also going to start to burn once you hit about that level seventh floor that seventh story staircase I mean it's it's quite impressive it's also a long way down from as you can see I'm looking down but great camera shots from up there it gives you a complete overview of the practice field I mean you can see end zone to end zone if the players were out there you'd be able to see exactly what was going on I mean you'd be able to see somebody catching a football absolutely no problem it's absolutely crystal clear from up there great view it's also quite cool to see some of the ropes and padding and dummies that they use for those workouts in the morning during those paw drills and any other drills they might be doing throughout the day. Another cool feature is there's kind of a second story platform up there that can give you kind of an overview of the practice field if you don't want to necessarily climb up to that filming tower. It's a hike up there. But I mean, that second story overview, you can kind of give a better perspective of everything going on. You can see the entire field. And there's also some other camera equipment up there for you that you can see. One thing that was really cool up there was there were several uh, monitor stations that you could kind of see different camera angles. I mean, I'm sure during practices or any other activities around there, you can monitor everything that's going on and record it. And if maybe the, uh, the, the cameras filming the practice don't get a great angle of a certain catch that a player makes, I'm sure that the security cameras, any other cameras they have linked to that network can absolutely capture that footage and you can use it to improve the football team, improve the player performance. But also kind of great for a security standpoint, too, to kind of be able to see what's going on inside and outside the facility, be able to keep track of everything. And I'm sure it's also very useful for days like the combine days when there's just a lot of going on. You want players doing different things, you got some doing bench, some doing their 40, and just a lot of activity going on, on overall. So a very impressive system up there. Another thing that was really cool about the indoor facility was kind of that mural they had on the wall there, just first and second round picks. I mean, you did likes of Vic Beasley, D Hop, CJ Spiller. And Sammy Watkins taking a selfie with Commissioner Goodell up there. And also, that little door right there kind of serves as a, a secondary locker room they can use for combine days, gives players or any other any other uh, professional that would need locker room access right there. It kind of gives them the ability for, for to have access to the locker room, changing room, whatever they may need that for. From looking around, you also notice that there's a large video board on one end of the practice field, electronic LED video board, and they can display footage, maybe a live recording of what's going on, anything they need to display on the board, they can. 
But then also on the other end, there's kind of a replica scoreboard. They can kind of show the time, the scores. They can imitate game time situations, maybe imitating a two-minute drill, maybe a, a minute drill. you got to get in field goal range last second. Anything they may need, they can use that, that replica scoreboard for. There's also several banners hanging from the rafters, such as the 1981 National Championship, the 2016 National Championship, and the 2018 Best Ever 15-0. I know there's other teams that have been 15-0 and won a National Championship, but at the time, Best Ever 15-0 and National Championship banner. First to ever do it. Along with some other cool padding along the wall. And then also, you can kind of just see, there's also depictions of players on the wall, such as Sammy Watkins, Hunter Renfro with his infamous national championship catch. Shaq Lawson after an exciting electric play. There's just several other players. On the other end, there's Christian Wilkins down there. Several players around the walls that have just made impacts on the program and lasting impacts on the university. So of the several motivational quotes that are along the facility walls, one of them that really stood out to me was, when you do the common things in life in an uncommon way, you will command the attention of the world. And that's exactly what Davo Sweeney has built his program upon, doing the uncommon things in an uncommon way and commanding the attention of the world. The media may not want to give Clemson the attention they want, but they've absolutely commanded it, absolutely given them no way to deny them that attention, deny them that spotlight in the national view. As Clemson football throughout the season is climbing that mountain and just racking up those wins after wins, it is you cannot deny them the national spotlight, deny them that ranking. Overall, though, a super impressive practice facility, and it's absolutely crazy to think the legends that have made an impact both on the football program and the university that have walked along that field. I mean, ranging from you know the Power Rangers and Wilkins and Lawrence and Cleland, and everybody else. I mean, Sean Watson, Trevor Lawrence, Mike Williams, Hunter Renfro, Mario Goodrich. The list goes on, and even the players that are still there making an impact. I mean, Xavier Thomas and the players that will make an impact in the future and Cade Klubnick. It's exciting. It's exciting. It's exciting. Absolutely great facility. Super happy to take a look at it. And that's all I got for today, people. As always, have a great day, and tell somebody you love them. Deuces.